here today. Today is G-Day. That's right, G-Day. The day we're going to take this time capsule right here and stick it into the ground for 50 years. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah! All right. Now, you may be asking yourself, you may be saying, I wonder what changes in 50 years. Well, it just so happens I've got a box right over here from 1942. And uh, I'm going to show you what the, they used to play music on in 1942. Yeah, it's, it's, it's this thing. It's, it's a record by uh, Perry uh, Como. You drop this thing, it'll shatter like a plate, and it actually just did. Now, we asked you kids out there, we got a newspaper right here. What are the newspapers? Now, you may, may ask yourself, what's a newspaper but a list of the things that have changed since yesterday? We put a newspaper in that time capsule right there. We asked you kids because we wanted to show kids in the future what was important to us here in 1992, what was important to you. So what we got, we got the, a list of some of the things that you guys read off to us. We have a... Uh, a, well, let's read it off right here. We got the smallest thing is a stick of gum. We got a skateboard in there. We've got six books, a history book, a comic book, a phone book, and a world atlas. We've got news reports from Desert Storm, the AIDS crisis, the end of the so Soviet Union. We got movies, Home Alone and Back to the Future. We got photos of things that were too big to put in there, so we took pictures of them. Bicycles, trains, cars, politicians. None of them in there. We got celebrities. We got a piece of the Berlin Wall. We got lead pencils, this week's TV guide. We've got a baseball in there. We got all sorts of stuff. We got a Barbie. We got a Game Boy. I mean, you can see the list right here. We got some great stuff in there. We even got a Nick Tunes t-shirt. We got CDs by Michael Jackson and Hammer. We even got some Twinkies in there. We also have a special guest here today. I'm going to call up here. Put your hands together for Vicky Horn. Vicky, come on out here. This is Vicky. Now, Vicky, where are you from? Orlando. Right here in Orlando. Well, you're a very important part of the show here today because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be videotaping the ceremony and the last thing to go, go in our time capsule is going to be that videotape. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay, step right over there. And we also have another special guest. Put your hands together for this guy. He's the star of the hit TV show, Blossom, Joey Lawrence. Come on up here, Joey. Joey. Nice. All right, Joey. Nice to see you, man. Thanks, Mike. Thanks a lot. Now, uh, how's things going with Blossom? Blossom is going great. We are starting our third season, July 6th, and we're doing unbelievable. So, And you guys are in the top 20 this season, top right? Top 20, yes. Fantastic. Very, okay. Very happy. Now, I understand you brought something uh, with you to put in our time capsule? I did, Mike. I brought a woe hat. Let me hold this up. Explain this woe hat to everybody well, out here. Well, um, each week on the uh, show, I have this uh, saying, and it goes, uh, whoa. And I say it um, <laughs> almost every week, and it's kind of become a big thing. So as, as a joke, I had hats made up for the cast and crew and decided to put one in there. Fantastic. You sure you can part with this thing? I Okay, so, put yeah. that in there. All we right, got Mike. the whoa hat going in there. Now remember, it's not going to be, uh, you're not going to see this thing for 50, 50 years. That's now, right. also, uh, Joey, I think, uh, you put, yeah, put that on right there. I want you to do the honors of uh, pressing the button and uh, lowering our time capsule into the ground. Crane Man, are you ready? ready. Okay, uh, beautiful. All right, Go Mike. ahead, press the Here button, man. We're all set. Whoa! Who was that? I have no idea, Mike. It's a DeLorean! A DeLorean! Who is that? Is it, uh, is it Michael J. Fox? I don't know who Michael it is. J. He's driving around here. That guy looks familiar. Oh, actually, ladies and gentlemen, it's Dr. Emmett Brown from the Future Institute of Technology Whoa. here at Universal Studios in Florida. Yeah! Give a warm welcome to Dr. Brown. Hold everything. Go bury that time capsule. Doc, what, what's the problem? What is it? Michael, Joy, thank goodness I got here in time. Terrible news, just terrible. What is it? Well, I was working on one of my new DeLorean prototypes when I actually crossed some wires and shot 50 years into the future. And that's when I made the discovery of catastrophic proportions. What's the problem? What's the discovery? By the year 2042, there'll be no more GAC in the world. No more GAC? Exactly. So for the sake of future children everywhere. You've got to put some gack into that time capsule, otherwise the future is sunk. Doc, I understand what you're saying, but you know, I mean, I don't know if I can get some on, on, on such short notice. I mean, these things take time, Doc. No, Wait a minute. All. Wait a minute. What? I have a suggestion. Oh. I think it's time for the Gackmeister. Yes. That's a good idea, Joey. Gackmeister! Gackmeister! Get the Gackmeister out here! We got some gack. Right. Here's the jar. All right. Here's the lid. All right, we got All some right. gack in there. We're going to need that. And this gack is going to last 50 years, so make sure to get it in there. Okay, thanks, gack mice. We can always this. count on you. All right. Yeah, hey. make sure that thing is sealed tight. There we don't go. Gack all, all right. over those CDs and stuff like that. Okay, get that right. thing back on there. Well, we have averted uh, future catastrophe once again. Thanks a lot, Doc. Appreciate it. No problem, Michael. Don't mention it. Hey, actually, uh, while we have you here, could uh, you possibly tell me who's going to win the World Series this year? 
Great Scott, I'm not going to get into a mess like that again. You know what happened the last time. I'm just kidding you, Doc. Oh, just look, kidding. I've got to get back to the Institute of Future Technology. There are more time travel volunteers here at Universal Studio waiting to try temporal displacement. Michael, good luck with doc, the time capsule. Doc, thanks again, man. Take Appreciate care. it. You always say hello to Blossom for all me. Right, thanks, Doc. And we'll see you all in the future. Bye-bye. Doc Brown, Bye -bye. everybody. Doc Brown. See you later, Doc. He's a crazy kooky man, man. He is a kooky guy. Okay, <laughs> hey, Vicky, did you get all that on camera? Good job. Okay, actually, we're going to take this video camera, and the last thing they're going to see on this videotape... This is a sight. Yeah. All right. They're going to see us saying goodbye. Hey, yeah, there you go. Me and, me and Joey. There you go. All right. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Put the whole thing in there, Joey, will you? All right, I'm going to put the whole thing okay, in. Put the whole right. thing in there. All right. We'll open that up in 50 years. All right. Get that baby in there. Can you fit it in there? Yeah, it's in. Okay, put that on there. Yeah, wait a minute. 50 years, that baby. Okay, Sorry. there you go. All right, ready? Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, do the honors. Press Let's that thing together. There we go. On this spot in 50 years, the kids of the future will be able to come here and visit the first world headquarters from kids and find out what is important to kids today. We hope by then that we have found solutions to our problems, that our dreams have become realities, and that the concerned kids of 1992 have become the concerned adults of the year 2042. Hey, Mike. I yeah, think Joey. The time capsule will really become a part of our history, huh? A big part of our history, Joey. That's right, and we're going to have a special plaque commemorating our time capsule for all visitors at Nickelodeon Studios here at Universal Studios in Florida. But our contents, the contents of this time capsule right here will remain untouched until April 30th, 2042. 2042. This is Mike O'Malley. And Joey Lawrence. Reporting live from Nickelodeon Studios in Florida. Peace. Bye.